one of the things that we've learnt um, working with Shobana, even the minutest tempo difference, something that we might not notice, mm. the dancers will notice. <laughs> Setting the tempo, um, this is where the rehearsals come in. So we'll do the run with the dancers, and if the venue is slightly smaller or slightly bigger, it's at that point where they have the opportunity to tell us, and then we can change. And that gets easier over time because we're used to having to, to make small shifts. Because it's important to uh, work with the dancers their own tempo we sometimes have to push ourselves and challenge ourselves to you know go fast enough for them to date we've ever had a dancer come up to us and say that was too fast it's usually too slow when we did it with Chopin and did it with the dancers and really heard and felt the rhythms that the dancers were creating with us we I think we felt that we knew the piece a lot better and knew what um, the, about the accents in yeah, the music. It, it and took what it on to a different, really, different level. It really, did take it? A, yeah. on a different level, yeah. 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 Quite often in dance, you know, the orchestra is buried in the pit somewhere, and you, you, so you don't get a real sense of the activity of music making. And of course, particularly with string playing, it's very physical. You, you, from an audience's point of view, it's great to be able to watch the dance and watch the narrative there, but also to be able to see where the music is coming from and see, and see the physicality of the music that's being made. With working with Elena Katzchernan and Chauvinet, it was very much a collaborative effort. Everyone, including the dancers, we all had an input into the music, and Elena was, was brilliant. She was very flexible. She was she, very flexible. You know, would listen music. to things that yes. we were saying and she'd change things, so yeah. she was really great to work with. Yeah.